In this video, you're going to learn how to draw and blend oil pastels to create an ice cream cone. So I'm using pencil first. I have my reference image to my left, and I am blocking in everything first. So I'm first blocking in the cone of the ice cream. Um, the cone is going to be about the same size as the ice cream on top, so I know to start about in the middle. I'm using the same measuring techniques that we use with the hand, just looking back and forth from my reference image making sure that the angles match, and I'm just blocking it in. Now I'm going to block in the general shape of the ice cream so we can see that it curves up, has a little swirl, signature for soft serve, and it's going back down. I'm not focusing on the nitty gritty details quite yet, but that is going to come next. So I am blocking in the curves. On the right hand side we have about like three and a half, four curves. I'm just getting the approximate of this. This is going to look more an impressionist style. We aren't going to be focusing on the nitty gritty details with these oil pastel ice cream cones. Now I'm focusing on the other side. It's a little bit more angular, but I will solidify and block that in once I'm using the oil pastels themselves. Right now I'm just blocking in the rest of the ice cream cone and I'm making some curves on the ice cream itself. This curves help me see where um, each gradient is going to be. There's about four or five just like layers of swirls on this ice cream cone. I just blocked that in with curved lines just so I have a foundation. I'm going to be using greens. Um, so I have uh, four different shades. I have dark, two, middle, and a very light shade of green. Also my white. You can choose whichever color you want from red, orange, yellow, green, blue, or purple. It just needs to create a gradient, so it needs to go from dark to light. The colors you chose are completely up to you. I'm going to start by going in, as always, with my dark. I'm blocking in my shadows. My shadows kind of curve around on this one. Um, my light source seems to be coming from the left-hand side, so all of my shadows are going to be on the right-hand side. And I'm blocking that in with my darkest green. It's almost like a teal color that I'm using on this one. Um, if you are using any of your reds, orange, or yellows, do not use black as your shadow color, as your darkest color. Use brown instead. Black has a high blue content in it, and your composition will end up looking green. And that's not what you want if you have an orange ice cream cone. You don't want it to look green. Um, so just beware of that. So I'm going in, and I'm just solidifying those curves on the right-hand side just those deepest shadows that I have on my composition. I'm just placing that in there right now, kind of haphazardly. I'm not focusing on any of the gradient yet, um, but I am making sure that I have the right amount of layers, the right amount of swirls present in my composition. I am now blocking in that more curvy section um, that moves from about the center to the left-hand side, and I'm just making a general uh, mark where that is with the oil pastel. This is just something so we can have a shadow present on the left hand side to create that swirl effect later on. Now that my shadows are blocked in, I'm going in with my middle green and I'm starting to blend the area that's in my deepest shadow with that right now so that I do have a general green appearance to my ice cream. I'm again going in haphazardly layering it. Key to this is just layer, layer, layer and then blend it out. So I'm going in and adding that middle tone with the middle green. about here where I start to make my tiny circular motions to blend my middle tone with my shadowed area. This is just going to be the first time I do it. I do it constantly throughout the video um, just to create that value scale, that gradient that we want in there. You will use a decent amount of oil pastel because these are relatively large. So um, you can always just take off the paper of the oil pastel. Um, don't take off the entire paper. 
because then you'll be holding just plain oil pastel and your hands might get really gross. Um, just another general reminder on this one, you will be creating tiny little beads of oil pastel when you're blending just because naturally it just comes up from the page. So make sure that you are getting those off of your page. Don't brush it because that will create a streak. Just kind of tap it on a trash can in an area where you would be okay just dispersing of them. Um, try not to get them on the black paper because it is hard to get off. Now I'm going to be going in with my uh, and like my lighter green, but it's not my lightest green, and I'm filling in the general area um, because a decent amount of this is middle tones. I have my shadows blocked in. I have yet to block in my highlights. That will come next. But I'm just going in and I'm haphazardly filling in with my middle oil pastel. You can see I'm going back in and I'm beginning to layer my shadows in because I noticed that that area was not dark enough. That's why it's always important to have a reference image right next to you when you're creating something. It makes your life a whole lot easier if you have a reference image sitting right next to you, something to always reference and look at. Now I am going in with my lightest green and I'm adding in some of the more highlighted areas. I haven't started to use white yet, that will come but I'm making tiny circular motions and I'm beginning to just blend all of them together just to create that nice gradient like we practiced with the sphere, like we practiced in the initial oil pastel video. The point of this is to just create a gradient. You can see that I'm beginning to focus a little bit more on the details, basically on the placement of the ice cream itself um, by adding more curved lines, especially on the left hand side. The, the swirls just create this beautiful curved line on there so I am beginning to add that part in and you can see that my composition is really beginning to create that swirled radiated effect that we're looking for with this project. At this point I have all of my colors layered in, now I am just going to continue to layer them, develop those highlights and shadows, looking at my reference image, making sure that I'm getting it as accurate as I can to my skill level. I haven't used the white yet, but that will come in the highlighted sections, but at this point you can also begin to start to use the q-tips, um, start to use other blending methods that you have learned. Um, what I'm looking for is just a gradient from dark to light that looks like an ice cream cone like you see in my example.